Madeline right at the plate for Charlotte to start the top of the second inning. Back with Paul Roper, I'm Sam Hyman. We, we really haven't had a chance to catch our breath, Paul. This has been a, a fast-paced game so far through one inning. Reese Bird in the circle for the Spartans. Well, if you missed it, in the bottom of the first, Jordan Gontram homered to left field. Her 18th home run of the season, that is a single season record at UNCG. And it's also the 91st home run of the season, which sets a program record for home runs in a season that was previously 90, and that was last year. So UNCG's power surge is high. The electricity is high here in Greensboro. One ball and two strikes, the pitch. And that just misses outside, two and two. This is the closest to a Major League Baseball team you might see in college softball because of the way that Janelle Brennan's program is run. They don't steal bases, they rely on power. 91 home runs, very few stolen bases for them this year. Full count. They're just six of seven in stolen base attempts, but it doesn't matter. They're the name of the game, get runners on and put balls over the wall. That helps them get a 4-0 lead after one inning. 3-2 pitch is softly floated to short. Maxwell there for the first out in the top of the second inning. Yeah, to your point, going back to this past weekend, UNCG lost its first conference game of the season to Furman, and they didn't hit a home run in that game. That was the first time in SOCOM play this season, UNCG did not hit a home run in a conference game. Corey Henderson at the plate for the 49ers, second baseman. To your point, this is their 50th game. They've now hit home runs in 42 of them. No matter how you slice it, Janelle Brenneman in her 10th season has a lethal offense. A program that has been to the NCAA tournament in years past, most recently in 2021, but they're looking for that first win in an NCAA tournament. And certainly here on the home stretch have a, an opportunity to make some noise, but they've got their eyes focused on this game and then a huge series against Samford on the road. Samford and UNCG are both sitting at 14 and one in league play. I mean, you couldn't draw it up any better than, than what we're going to witness this weekend as fans. One ball and two strikes. The pitch. Two and two. Well, UNCG really had a tough non-conference schedule, probably the toughest schedule that Coach Brenneman drew up prior to this season with the hopes of maybe stealing an at-large, but unfortunately they didn't pick off as many opponents as they would like. They had a lead against ranked Oregon here few months ago yeah that's uh only lose that game in extras that was a really competitive game and coach Brenneman said several months ago that she wanted to challenge her team during the non-conference because she believed that that would prepare them for games down the stretch the 2-2 two -two. And this is lifted into left center field. McKenna Mateus races over. And the all-world center fielder makes the grab. Two up, two down to start the top of the second inning. That was a good route to the ball by Mateus and a ball that hung up there in the air towards left center field. A nice job by her. She's been a terrific athlete, a terrific student as well. Was honored at senior day on Sunday and is set to graduate from UNCG. A remarkable career. First pitch is knocked off the second base bag. Courtney Grimion has Charlotte's first hit of this game and first base runner. Grimion aggressive as she goes first ball swinging and puts it right through the circle. And a nice job by Mateus to kind of run over after the ball ricocheted off the bag. She'd been all set to play it up the middle, but Able to hold the runner to one base. That'll bring up Lindsey Wall Jasper. 
Second baseman, a senior from Manteca, California out of Sierra High School. Transferred over from Nebraska. Reese Bird in the circle delivers. And that off speed fools Wall Jasper. Wall Jasper, one of nine players on the Charlotte roster who transferred over from another program. So a very transfer heavy program compared to UNCG, which hasn't relied as much on transfers. Did a good job of having homegrown players and keeping them here. 1 1 pitch is skied into shallow left field. Brooklyn Maxwell makes the play to retire the side. So Reese Bird, two shutout innings, just one hit allowed. And the Spartans come to bat when we return in just a moment. 4-0 UNCG on ESPN+. Plus.